guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this Halloween special effects makeup tutorial. In today's video, we're going to be creating this really cool and creepy, is it a mermaid, is it a fairy, is it an evil elf? This look can really be whatever you choose to make it and it's really, really super simple and you can create using pretty much all things you already have at home. So no fancy special equipment required for this one. I hope you guys really enjoy it and let's jump into the tutorial. All right, let's get down and dirty. First up, I'm prepping my skin. I've obviously applied a primer and now I'm going in with the MAC Face and Body uh, Foundation. I'm blending this one all over my face, through my brows and also down my neck. I'm then taking a concealer. This is the Tarte Shape Tape. I've chosen a color uh, that's quite a few shades lighter than my foundation because I really want to highlight these certain areas of my face. So under my eyes, forehead, bridge of the nose and chin. And then I'm basically just blending all of that in. I'm then going to go ahead and set that all down. I'm using a really matte translucent powder um, this one by NYX is a really fantastic one really really long lasting because we really want to lock those base products in before we start going in with the fun stuff on top so first up I'm taking this blue eyeliner this is one of the sketch liners by Too Faced and I'm using this to color in my brows and then draw sort of swirly type lines upwards from the base of my brows onto my forehead it kind of looks like blue flames a little bit um, basically um, I'll also tell you guys that this was completely made up as I go so it's kind of a little bit all over the shop I'll do the eyebrows then I'll go and do something else and then I'll come back and then I'll go back um, basically that's the creative process happening in real life this is how I do it I'm now taking a turquoise metallic eyeliner and doing the same thing over my brows building um, this up using different colored eyeliners will really help build a really cool 3d effect I'm also using that turquoise eyeliner to draw little dots onto my forehead except my freaking baby hair always gets in the way doesn't it <laughs> now going in with a navy blue metallic eyeliner doing exactly the same thing Thing. again building further texture and further dimension to those eyebrows really they look like blue flames the longer I look at this the more I'm like dang this could have been a blue flame look <laughs> now I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills cream color base this is the blue one and I'm using this to blend through my crease I'm also going to pack that one onto my eyelids laying this down as a color base essentially means that the blue eyeshadow that we're going to apply on top is not going to crease throughout the wear time so once I've got that all blended in I'm going to move on to eyeshadows I'm just using this palette by Morphe as always guys I will link every single product that I have used in the description bar down below I'm taking a really pretty shimmery turquoise turquoise eyeshadow and I'm using that over the top of that cream color base to really intensify that color set it all down and add a really really cool metallic twist to the eyes I'm also going to be mixing in this deeper metallic shade of blue just using that through my direct crease to add a little bit more definition and dimension to my eyelids now just using that same eyeshadow I'm basically just going to start contouring underneath the eye area really building definition and smokiness under there and then I'm lightly going to sketch in the areas of my face where I'm going to be doing contouring with blue eyeshadow as well so for me that's the hollows of my cheeks and also down the sides of my nose I really wanted a super pronounced nose contour because I want to look not human like as not human as possible so I'm really really bringing that one down and also dragging it out under the eye and towards the hairline now taking some of this Mayron white face paint and I'm going to be using this one on a damp sponge pretty well in all random spots so I've chosen different areas of my face to apply and I'm also going to be applying it all over the neck this is really just to add some extra dimension and definition to the face and kind of give me the illusion of being like a 3d character now taking a large blush brush and that same turquoise eyeshadow and I'm basically contouring to town <laughs> this is the one time where you can go nuts with your contour and you don't have to worry about it not being blended the more unblended the better I'm now creating a really cool scale effect on my skin using that same brush and different shades of blue eyeshadows over the top of a cut up fishnet stocking this creates a super super cool scale like appearance to the skin to give me that real mermaid kind of feel and just it, it just adds so much extra shape and definition to the whole look now taking a liquid glitter eyeliner and I'm working that one through the brows again I told you it's all over the place this tutorial and like the whole creative process when I'm making something up I'm just like backwards forwards backwards forwards <laughs> now doing a huge ass winged eyeliner I really love how this eyeliner completely changes the look I'm dragging it all the way through the inner corner of the eye and then I'm also doing a double wing on the inner corner as well I just feel like it makes the whole look 
a lot more kind of evil and like more sultry. So don't be afraid to go nuts with the eyeliner. I'm now repeating underneath my eyes exactly what we did through the brows. So I'm taking all of those different colored blues, turquoises and green and silver eyeliners and drawing kind of like little squiggly veins underneath my eyes. Think Vampire Diaries. I feel like that's what I was trying to channel here. But of course, not in blood and in blue instead. <laughs> now taking this gorgeous uh, liquid lipstick by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's a really, really beautiful metallic blue and I'm going to be using that one to fill in all of my lips. And then once that is done, I'm going to go back in with the same eyeliners and create little sort of vein like squiggles out the side of my mouth as well. I'm trying to make myself... You know what? I don't know what I'm trying to make myself look. I'm just trying to make myself look freaky, really. <laughs> now taking a little bit of silver eyeshadow and rubbing it over the center of the lips to add a whole bunch of definition. Now this is the fun part. These are just little sort of half gem decals that I found at a local craft store and I'm just using them all over the face. I'm sticking them on with eyelash glue. It's like honestly no fancy equipment required here. They were also super, super cheap, but I've applied them sort of to the outer, probably like the upper temple area and also underneath my eyes. I just really like the way that it adds, you know, 3D texture and all of this metallicness to my face. <laughs> now, oh, I remember this. This was in my Halloween box. This is liquid latex and I am using, these are essentially like, it's like, it's not paper confetti. It's like material confetti, again, from the craft shop. Um, these are petals. They're butterflies. I've got white ones. I've got green ones. I've got turquoise ones. I'm basically just sticking them on with liquid latex. But I was pulling that really weird face early on because there was fake blood all over my liquid latex from last year. <laughs> now taking an eyeshadow brush with some different blues and greens of eyeshadows and whatnot. And I'm just using them to add more texture and definition to those sort of petals that I've placed around. Then mascara. Then lash and then you are good to go. So this is the look completed. Now, I've uh, I've tried to keep it really creative and I've tried to give you guys two options. So what we're actually going to be doing now is it taking this an extra level and really darkening it up and making it look a whole lot more evil. So you can basically make the decision whether or not you want to be like a bluey turquoise fairy slash mermaid, whatever we want to call this, or if you want to take it that extra step and turn yourself into like an evil kind of mermaid. And honestly, it is so simple. All I am doing is taking one fluffy eyeshadow brush, some black eyeshadow out of that same Morphe palette, and I'm essentially just using that black all over different areas of my face to shade them even darker, shade them down further, add definition, add highlights, lowlights, and also kind of trying to make myself look a little bit dirty. You'll find that the more of the black eyeshadow that you place around your face, the more evil and the more kind of creepy you will start to look. So it's completely customizable. Do it however you want. Make it as light as you want, as bright as you want. Make it as dark as you want. You can even try doing this with different colors. So if you've done it in a blue in the same way that I have, you could then go in with like a purple or a pink or something. You could do it in all the colors of the rainbows. It's honestly, it's completely customizable and you can make this look however you want it. So here is the complete final finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed my first Halloween tutorial for this year and I will catch you all in tomorrow's video which again is another Halloween tutorial. Yay! I love you guys. Bye!